through my checklist, open this PSS, take a look at descriptives, and run a few tests. But I've been tweaking and messing all night that even my mama can tell that this curve ain't right. There ain't no outlier left. Either you, me, or me. Busy checking the scatter plus for linearity. You better hope what's missing is completely erratic. Or imputation methods gotta be systematic. I really hate the reading scores gotta rearrange. Cause the way they correlate says it's just the same. My choices are real smart, my analysis revealed it. Cause everything I did kept it simple. Been spending most of our night making sure the data's entered right. Been checking this course twice, they're related to age and to being white. Plotting all the variables in sight, but transform, they still ain't looking right. We know we're being real bright, cause our logic's simple and airtight.
One, two, three, four cells you've got participants for. Two plus DVs join to make a composite score. Variance between, compare to within. The ratio of matrix determinants fits in. Oh, 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 the F test is done. Oh, oh, the tests have only begun. Lambda root trace choice of test you've got to face. Bardman step down, rank DVs in proper place. Meet the assumptions, it's Wilkes that you use. Covariance in DVs was the first one you choose. Oh, oh, oh your choices depend. Oh, 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 if you have equal ends, cell size same and you can shun Fox. And cell size differs. What the hell do you do then? Omnibus sits on the upper side of point or ten. You mean F point or two? What the fuck do you do then? Done. Oh, the tests have only begun. 